this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got a fast bulldog here. Usually he uh, runs and tries to hit the camera, but he's a little tired today. Hey, I've got a 1990 Ford F-250 XLT Lariat. Really, really nice truck. 53,000 original miles, extended cab, 460 with an automatic. Just a clean truck. So we'll do a little walk around. I'll put it on my lift. We'll do a little drive around video, show you underneath the hood in the interior and everything like that. Um, the top of the truck has been repainted. As you know, these Fords, especially in this time period and Dodges and everything, they would start to lose their luster and some of the clear uh, back in the day. And sometimes they would just start having, having issues. So this truck has been repainted on the top and bottom. The uh, tan on the side is original. You can also see that it's got um, aluminum wheels, upgraded aluminum wheels, and it's got Michelin uh, tires on it, Defender L LTX, uh, two, LT 265, 75, 16s. Um, in really nice shape, those are from uh, 2016, so fairly new, and I love Michelins overall. So if you have uh, need someone to help you sell a car or anything like that, I own this one, but if you uh, need me to help you on bring a trailer, I would love to help as long as you think like I do and um, want to do the work that it takes uh, sometimes to uh, put into the vehicle so uh, people have a good vehicle they can drive that uh, just doesn't look pretty sitting in their uh, driveway. So you can check us out on our Instagram page, website, denworks.com. 220, this is our 220 20th auction on Bring a Trailer. So and this is no reserve so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the headlights we got marker lights hopefully you can see it because of the sun and then headlights you can see the headlights bright lights and then we got blinkers left and right left actually that's your right and your and your left so go ahead and shut them off overall nice truck it does have a few little scratches little tiny chips and uh, general things there is a uh, little chip right here hopefully you can see that so if you see me pointing at something I can't point out every single thing on the truck but if you see me pointing at something it's usually a little chip or a little ding or something like that um, absolutely no rust at all this does have uh, working air conditioning clean Carfax um, power windows super clean interior you're gonna be really impressed with the interior we actually put a new catalytic converter on it uh, as well muffler was good exhaust system is really good so this is a fly-in drive at home uh, kind of rig um, in general if you need to store it here for a little bit because of the coronavirus we would be uh, happy to uh, store it no problem um, we've had a lot of people uh, doing that uh, recently so if you look down the sides actually pretty nice and straight overall again does have a few little touch-ups and things look at the pictures as well got a little mark right there it's got a little pollen out here it's falling on it um, the paint is actually really nice overall you'll see a little bit of imperfections in the brown Few little sanding scratches not bad you got to kind of look close uh, but they did a nice job overall that was probably done about 10 years ago i'm guessing one thing that you can actually get new these this rubber molding you can see here it's starting to shrink a little bit so i've actually seen guys you can hire a company they'll take that off and put new ones on there's nothing real special about that no rust bubbles down here on the bottom actually really really clean I was looking for a couple little chips and little things on the side here. Little little chip right there, right there. No one's hit the doors or anything like that. They're not all warped or anything like that. 
couple little scratches right here. Two tanks, a little scratch there. Um, overall clean, not a trailer queen or anything like that. It has been used, but again, really nice. You want to hit the cargo light. So that's working. It did have a fifth wheel in here. You can see these holes right here. There's four on each side, but it doesn't really look like anything's been hauled in the back of this truck, honestly. There's no dents or anything like that. Uh, a little paint missing off the bottom here. Um, but overall, really, really clean and very nice. And I actually use one of these trucks as my uh, tow rig. I have a 93 with a 460. And they are pulling machines for sure if you look on top of the rail really really clean up here on the roof is clean no rust in the gutters really hard to find a truck like this and we'll just show you it's got power windows if you want to roll the windows up and down for me real fast i've got left oh roll that one down i can't see that one and the other yeah roll it up there we go and then roll it all the way down <clears throat> perfect we're just going to walk here to the back real fast i'm going to go ahead and show you the lights we've got uh tail lights brake lights reverse and we got blinkers we got left and right and then uh do the, turn the lights off and then turn the tail lights on real fast no, the tail, pull them out. There we go. Oh, no, that's brake. Just regular light. There we go. We got our lights working here. And then you can also see the lights work here in the bumper as well. Little ding right here and here. It must have backed into something real quick there. Again, a few little kind of little chips that have been touched up. But again, actually in really nice condition you can see a little scratch right there let's take you down this side here you can see where it's pulled away a little bit on each edge but again some little minor things this is original paint in the center little dings there go ahead and rev it up ashley real fast just rev the engine up doesn't blow any smoke or anything like that you can see here a couple little dings Right here, no rust or anything like that in the rockers. You'll be pretty impressed when I put it up on my lift. Looks really clean. Another little scratch. Oh, that's not, that was just a little, little piece of uh, uh, grass. Rear window, it moves. So overall, pretty nice. No rust in the gutter up there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff on the truck we'll get it underneath the lift and uh, show you underneath in the interior so stay tuned we're gonna go show you some more stuff really nice driving truck um, very smooth I'm gonna go ahead and roll the windows up a little bit and I'm down for the uh, camera you can hear the uh, radio works that's the tape player that I showed you earlier and the uh, in the glove box so really smooth if you look at the steering wheel you can point over here you can see the steering wheel doesn't shake all over the place I'm gonna lay on the brakes um, right now and you can see it's not shaking it actually does not pull to the right or left at all so it's actually really smooth uh, in general I'm gonna go ahead and show you the gauges overall you can see the speedometer is working oil pressure is really good temp alternator is working this one's actually equipped with a tack which is really really nice um, and you can also see it's almost on E I am a car salesman 
Uh, I might put a little more gas in it, but actually both tanks work. Um, you can see it go up just a little bit, but they're uh, actually really close to empty. So hopefully we make it back. I'm just gonna show you the wipers. They work as well. Um, go ahead and I was gonna show you the fan. This is the AC working now. It actually uh, blows cold. If you look right here as well, you can see it's got uh, overdrive the little button lights up and then look at the gauges and all this stuff down down here so everything's working in general i am going to try the cruise real fast you can see here um i'm going to go ahead and i think i'm going to get up to 35 so to hit on and then set there we go cruise is working as well so that's nice we're sitting right at uh, 40 so everything's working good so we're going to go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff and uh, just cruise around I'm going to show you underneath the hood real fast there's a lever underneath the, the dash and you know the little flipper here so go ahead and uh, pull on that there we go and then go ahead and turn it off real fast we'll restart it here in a minute but hopefully I can do this with one hand see a little lever and we'll lift this up so underneath the hood is really nice You'll notice that I didn't put um, any, uh, you know, um, tire shine or anything like that underneath the hood or anything like that. And everything's real clean. Um, I didn't even have to pressure wash this. It's actually been uh, cared for its whole life. You can see it's got upgraded wires on it. No check engine lights or anything like that. It is a 460, seven, uh, I think they call it 7.3. I'm so used to calling stuff a 460. Oh, 75, sorry, 73 is a diesel. The, uh, I like calling it by cubic inch. So, no oil leaks or anything like that. It's got an automatic transmission. We serviced the transmission, it's got new shocks on it, um, and new cat, like I mentioned before. Changed the oil, changed the uh, gear oil front and back, transfer case oil, that's all been changed. Um, so, the other thing I wanna look at up here, too as well you can see it hasn't been wrecked up here or anything like that very very clean you know no accidents or anything like that the cat the, uh, the sticker up here the catalyst sticker we'll uh, put a picture on the auction so you can see that um, I need to get a bulb for that that probably works I just didn't have one um, but it was out of it when I got it power steering obviously go ahead and uh, start it up it actually starts really nice. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. Sounds good. And then, uh, you know, you won't be able to feel this, obviously, but you'll uh, be able to see the AC clutch click on. You can hear it on and off. AC blows cold. So that's exciting news uh, in general because it's starting to get hot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the interior real fast. Might as well, since we're here. Interior is actually really, really clean. You'll know that um, when you see this, that this is a 53,000 mile rig. Look at the seats, just amazing. And especially on a four x four truck that's so high, this would be really worn right here. And this is really in good shape. Um, go ahead and look at the dash. Again, it's really clean. You can see a little bit of uh, Maybe where the sun came in here and flaked this off on the edge. You could probably faux finish that if you wanted. Um, it does have new floor mats. We just have it upside down uh, right now just so we don't get, get it dirty. Um, but you can see the carpet, really nice. The pedals aren't all worn out or anything like that. Uh, four wheel drive, it works. Trailer brakes. It's funny, I had the same one uh, in my truck. If you look at the door panels, again, not all worn out on the arms or anything. Actually really clean. If you look at the, uh, the jams, 
very very nice VIN sticker yeah and I'll go ahead and flip the seat forward over on the uh, passenger side it actually goes forward a lot farther and this seat I'll show you this the seat flips uh, down I'll show you on the other side um, when I do it over there so I'm gonna go walk over there real fast Show you a couple things again the jams really clean a little dirt but it's a truck <clears throat> tape player even works you got cruising classics and i'll go ahead and show you this seat as well again really clean very nice you can see a little warpage it's actually uh the material's not sagging a little bit of warpage on the cardboard underneath there or the backer so hopefully i can do this with one hand sort of see how far that uh that goes forward <coughs> you can actually get in there really easy and then the seat again one one hand got the camera in the other one darn it that flips forward and then this flips down so you have kind of a cargo area back there. So that's really nice. You'll see a little crack right here. And you'll see a picture in the auction. So hopefully that gives you a, a good sense of what it looks like inside. Um, no smoke. I'm highly allergic to smoke. I don't like cigarette smoke or anything like that. Um, but everything seems to be uh, working good in here and looks good so we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff hey we're going to take a look at the ford underneath this is actually the second thing i look at when i'm checking out a rig in person uh to you know purchase it or uh, do a consignment or something like that i just want to make sure that structurally it's good and uh, the only way you can really do that is crawl underneath so it's nice to have it up here on a lift you're still, still going to see all the still photos and all that um, but this way i can point out different things talk about different things that we did uh, and just just show you different things wanted to show you the date code real fast on these tires they're michelins um, you can see right there it says 15 16. when you see four digits the dot number when you see the uh, four digit one the 16 is 2016 so you can see the tires are in really good shape no odd wear or anything like that we did replace the shocks i think they're uh, called monroe maddox uh, Mon monroe is the brand and replace those all the way uh, front and back and then we also replace the uh, uh transfer or the uh, <coughs> uh front axle and rear axle fluid um when you see 420 or a date like that, doesn't mean we changed the axle out. It just means that's the date that that was changed. You can see it's got 354 gears. Boot looks good. It's not all cracked or anything like that. Uh, I took pictures of the uh, wheels off with the brakes. They look good. We also changed the oil. <clears throat> Did a service on the transmission. You can see it's got a new gasket, new filter and everything. And then we also did a uh, transfer case, put new oil in it as well. And rear end we did as well. Uh, it needed a new cat, so we put a new cat on it. You can see that's all brand new. The muffler was good. We inspected that, so everything looked good uh, in general. Underneath is actually really clean. Uh, it did have some running boards on it. You can see right here. They weren't on it when I got it, but they had welded some tabs on there this year they drilled a hole out but we uh, took the tabs off and, and ground them off there so because they were hanging down so but if you look up underneath the rocker everything is really really clean very very nice floors frame looks good you know a little dirty underneath here but i mean it's a it's a truck and ford you'll see the surface rust ford did not paint a lot of their uh, surfaces and so you'll always see a lot of surface rust, even like on 5.0 Mustangs. Um, 
you know, from the 80s and 90s. You'll see a lot of surface rust on uh, different things. We'll take a look at the floor over here on this side. You know, when they put the running boards over on this side, they didn't weld on tabs. They just, uh, I think they thought, well, we don't need to do that. And ended up just bolting them on. Um, <clears throat> you can see here, again, the rockers look really good. Floors, back of the cab is not rusty. All the body mounts look good as well. You can see right here. <clears throat> you can see a little bit of undercoating on them, but they're not all cracked or anything like that. And there's no rust around them. I'll take a look at this side real fast. <clears throat> You can see that mount looks good. And there's mounts up here in the front. A little cracking on that and on the rubber, but that's nothing I would probably worry about. Um, let's take a look here. But And again, there's no accidents or anything uh, up here. So actually a pretty clean uh, truck. Show you the rear end. You know, everything looks, looks good. You can see our date right there when they did the oil um, but everything looks nice underneath here I haven't seen anything that's cause for alarm of an accident or structural problems or anything like that so you'll probably want to get a new spare eventually I don't think that's ever been out of the truck um, but overall pretty clean truck if you got questions give me a jingle uh, you can make comments this is a no reserve auction so top bid is gonna get it uh, cool old rig Thanks for taking a look.